Hi boys and girls, Mr. Haynes here. Today we're going to be talking about another reading strategy. This one's called Chunky Monkey. Remember, good readers have to use lots of different strategies when they come to words they don't know. And often you need to use more than one strategy at the same time. Chunky Monkey, what he does is he breaks the word into chunks you know. So, for example, we've got three words here. The first one, we look at it and we can see the chunk and. We know the chunk and, so we can put it together and use it to sound out the word. St, and, st, and, stand. And then we've got this word here, and we know the chunk at, so we can use it to sound the word out. Fl, at, flat. And the last one, we know the chunk low, so we can sound, put it together with the B to make below. Now we're going to head over to Epic Books. And you all have access to this one. There's lots of books here that you can enjoy. Uh, different reading levels, including comics and graphic novels, and also some popular titles like Where the Wild Things Are. So uh, we're going to use the Chunky Monkey strategy, as, long, as well as the Eagle Eye strategy, to read this book and sound out some of the words that we might not know. So let's go ahead. All birds have... Oh, I know the chunk ing says ing, so I can use it to sound out the word. Wing, wing, wings, wings. All birds have wings. But some birds, oh, and I know this chunk as well, can. So I can put it together and make it can't, can't, can't. All birds, but some birds can't fly. And, ooh, this word I don't know at all. So I'm going to look at the picture and use eagle eyes. We've got a bird there, some trees, and an ostrich. Hey, wait a second. Ostrich starts with an a, ah, and this word starts with an a ah too. And then I can see the ch chunk there. So ostrich. <gasps> yep, that works. Can't fly. Uh, an ostrich can't fly. Penguins have oh wings. I know that word. I saw it before. But they can't fly. They are birds that swim. Most other birds can fly, but so can, let's look at Chunky Monkey here. I know the chunk at, so I can put it together to make bats, but bats, and yeah, I can see a bat there. And bees, there is a fish that can fly. Uh, fly. I know the chunk fly, and I know ing, so fl flying, a flying. But when I know sh, chunk says ish, sh, so f, f, fish. Oh, and I see is, that's another chunk I know, isn't a bird. So boys and girls, you can see that you can use the chunky monkey strategy to sound out words that you might not know by using chunks. All right. I hope you can use this strategy and other strategies to read harder and harder books.